Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with the friends, and of course do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. On this channel, we post reaction videos. If there's something that you want us to react to, drop a link and we'll be more than glad to react to it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out there. Feel free to suggest anything. We'll be more than glad to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, watching everything that you guys do. Thank you very much. Hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to signs that continue to intensify the jaw his vehicle. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The signs that have occurred and continue to intensify. One of them that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that one of the signs would be um, that intoxicants would be widely used. So you can see this happening in the Muslim world and just intensifying from quite some time ago. Another sign would be nakedness, that people would begin to remove their clothes. And he said until it would get to the point where people would actually walk around in the marketplaces in shorts with their thighs fully exposed. Right? It's in a hadith, and meshu fit aswaq wal afkhadu badiyatun, walking in marketplaces with the thighs fully exposed. Um, he said also that people would have sexual intercourse in front of other people was a sign of the end of time. Um, he said that it would get so bad that you would see people fornicating on, in public places, and the best people would be people who would say, can't you do that somewhere else? Um, another one would be speed in travel. He said great distances would be traversed in very short times. And he said also that uh, people would hop between the clouds and, and the earth. And he said that um, there would be uh, musical instruments would be everywhere. And he said that also that people would dance with instruments on their head which some have interpreted as headphones. That they would dance with instruments on their head and they would spend the whole night dancing like that. And um, he also said that uh, you would see singing wi women prevalent uh, in public spaces. Um, because traditionally that was something that people did in private things, but he said it would become out open into the public. Um, and he said that there would be many people would, he said, Tektor al Hausat which would be whisperings, like there would be many confused people that would have a lot of psychological type of problems. So, I mean, I could go on and on, it gets quite depressing. Th those are signs. Now then there's the big ones, uh, in which the Prophet, the biggest of all, is called the Antichrist, is the Dajjal. The word in Arabic is from Dajjala. It means to smear a camel with tar. In other words, covering the whole body with tar smearing the part that is mangy or scaby. So it has the idea of hiding illness or sickness, covering it over, right? Covering it over with a black pitch. Uh, to lie, to conceal truth with falsehood, uh, concealing the truth. He enchanted or fascinated. So the idea that the Antichrist is an enchanter or a fascinator. People are fascinated by him. He compressed... He traversed the regions or tracks of the earth or land. Now, the Prophet said that the Dajjal would enter every city on the planet. When they asked him what would his speed be like, he said like a wind that leaves a cloud in its trail. sahab. <laughs> Literally means like a wind that leaves a cloud in its trail. And in another tradition he said he would ride a white donkey made of iron whose span between his two ears was 40 cubits. Baghlatum min hadid, as the hadith says. Very interesting, and to some people these are just a smaller section 
of the signs there is many signs out there but this makes you aware of certain things just in case you are not aware of and certain things people are going to find no more others are going to say no this is right we're going to look at corruption in the world of the mind of societies of communities of everything in this world and almost of everyone i mean we're going to change the way we see things whilst we're saying we should preserve our for example our tradition others are going to say that's backwards and they're going to be forced to jump on the bandwagon to uh, keep up with what society deems uh, latest or the way of living life we're going to lose our morals we're going to forget we're even going to push away God and I mean it's really up to us to see and not what the signs are and see what we can do about them. You just can't say I will wait for the signs to maybe have an effect to me then I'll do something about it for now I'm cool. It doesn't work like that. Practice to always have a faith. Practice to always see situations for what they are. Don't be blinded by uh, unnecessary stuff or distracted let me know what you guys think a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video